What is up guys, Mr. Who's the Boss here, and this is my first look at Metro Launcher 10 on Android. So of the few Windows 10 style launchers that are currently available on Android, this is by far the best. It's actually surprisingly quick, so it has these sort of very standard options such as the access to Play Store, access to Calendar, access to Settings, and it's basically just a skin on top of the Android experience. You're not actually getting any native Windows apps here, it just makes it look more like a Windows device. It has the very nice um, swipe from the right hand side to bring up a little menu, and all the icons are done to a very nice high resolution. You can see that there's plenty of settings for the home screen with more to be added in future updates. There's a real emphasis on colour here. You can tweak every colour of every single tile with a unlimited amount of possibilities. You could create a very organised unified scheme with maybe one or two different colours or you could just go bonkers and you know stick every single colour of the rainbow on your home screen. It's all very doable here. Now some would say that the Android ecosystem just looks nicer generally, like why would you ever want to emulate Windows? This is just another thing to show off really, I mean personally I prefer the way something like Nova Launcher looks than this, but I'm just showcasing it, just showing you that this is probably the best out of the few Windows 10 launches available. You will be able to download actual themes based just for this launcher, which is pretty nice, nice to see, and obviously you've got a weather widget. This is all in its very basic stages at the minute, it's on beta 1.1, so when it reaches version 2.0 that'll be its final release. So one of the things that really sticks out with Windows from 8.0 and above is the way you actually search for apps. So by tapping on this little button in the corner, you'll soon be able to swipe up and it should be able to scroll down. But uh, at the minute you tap that corner, you'll be taken into a pretty ugly app drawer. I mean, this really doesn't compare to something like Android 5.0 Lollipop with its clean, minimalistic style look. Nonetheless, this is what Windows 10 will look like. So. You know, I guess in that sense they have stayed true to what they're actually trying to emulate. There's also a search function, but this does not search your files like it would on a Windows device, this is only going through your apps. Again, that will actually be added in a future update, but at the minute it's still just got the very basics. So another thing which is nice to see here is the ability to actually pin whatever apps you want onto your home screen. So you simply search for them, you hold them down, and they will be there. And you can see that it, at the minute it's just shoved onto the right hand side, it kind of looks a little bit out of place, but you can stick it wherever you want. And I was actually quite impressed by the way you can enlarge and make smaller the icons. However, it would be nice if there was actually a way to give those icons a Windows kind of theme, because you can tell that this Adobe Reader over here looks a little bit wrong and a little bit out of place. But again, it's still nice to see, and they've done a lot to actually help you integrate those icons. So also we have a nice little clock when you actually pull from the side, you can see that we've got the time, the battery and the date, and we can also apply various Android themes which is nice, which will actually affect the way the icons look but nothing else. So this thing is an interesting development but not yet enough to fully take over your Android launcher. Thanks for watching guys!